6, NASA scientists and engineers are working on the next mission to the moon right here in Arizona. They have been camped out in the high desert near Flagstaff all month working on the equipment that they'll take the next that will take the next people to the moon. Team 12's William Pitts got an up close look at what will hopefully be helping people live and work on the moon in a few short years. Welcome to the surface of the moon, or at least the closest thing we have to it here on Earth, which is just a little bit north of Flagstaff. For the past two weeks, NASA has been testing the gear that will take us back to the moon and maybe even farther. Eventually, a rover just like this one will drive on the moon. All the wheels are independently controlled and they also have active suspension so they can raise and lower when needed. This one is a test bed. The wheels move independently. It can spin on a dime, climb rocks up to a foot tall. It's gone through a lot of changes, testing things out to see what works best in space. So for this test series, we were looking at kind of um, different driving uh, systems, like with windows or cameras. People uh, spent two nights in the rover and three days traversing all over the lava flow, doing actual geological science, conversing with mission control back in Houston, and really kind of simulating a lunar surface mission. He's not kidding. The rover has a toilet. There's a spacesuit attached to the back of it. Do you want to hop up here and drive? I absolutely want to drive. Are you kidding? Just push straight forward. Yeah. You can't go wrong. The rover has cameras that show you exactly how close you are to a rock, and it's very easy to drive, which was the point. It's meant to be intuitive. Why don't all cars drive with a joystick? With a joystick. This is so much easier. You should see Lucian Crowell park this thing. It's <laughs> really, it's a dream. It even drives sideways. And do a pure twist. Yep, and just stay committed to that command. The Desert Rats, it stands for Research and Technology Studies, are doing mock space missions to test out the new equipment that will eventually blast off. One of the things we learned with the lighting just over the head is that at times it wasn't enough lighting. But it's basically an article that allows us to not have to bring like a whole pressurized spacesuit out here, but it's got all the calm capability, the lighting, the cameras. They're even studying how to put a cell phone on the moon. They're trying to see how 4G cellular technology works on terrain like the moon and Mars. What's the point of going if you're not going to send cool pictures back and cool data, science info. The moon missions are called Artemis, and they're getting closer. They start with unmanned test missions to make sure it all works, building up for landing on the moon, hopefully in 2025. And that mission starts in the Arizona desert. William Pitts, 12 News.